What's going on everyone? Alan Cortez here, AKA The Bird Bay. And in this quick training video, I wanna talk about, is your parrot not responding to training? And if so, I'm gonna show you a simple fix to get your parrot more responsive to training. So the other day I was hanging out with my little guy, Elfie, and Elfie is usually a pretty good bird when it comes to training time around four o'clock. He's usually pretty responsive. He's usually a pretty good bird, right, overall. But this other day, I just couldn't get him to budge. And I was like, Elfie, come on, man. I know you're hungry. You're over here chirp, chirping, whistling because you, you're hungry. So I was trying to do some flight recall training. And I would call him over and I'd be like, Elfie, come here, buddy. I got an almond for you, your favorite. Usually he comes. This time he was just like, mm. And I was like, Elfie, so I, I usually only call him about twice and then I go walk away, take a little break and basically it just shows him, hey, you lost out on your treat. Then I come back and try again. I was doing it back and forth like two or three times. I was like, this guy's just not budging. And then it occurred to me, I was like, well, he's, he's hungry, but he doesn't have as much motivation. What's going on here? And I see a lot of this happen with uh, people who own parrots and they're trying to train their parrots to either do tricks, they're trying to train their parrots to fly to them, or just simple target training and clicker training, but the parrot isn't motivated. And a lot of this is because there isn't enough motivation for the parrot to want to do anything. Now, if we think about it, humans and birds are, getting, are, more, are motivated primarily by the desire to eat and we eat because we want to live and we want to live because it's programmed into our DNA. And it's the exact same way with parrots. So if your parrot has unlimited access to food all day, I can almost guarantee you he or she is not going to be motivated to do any type of trick training or any training that you try to uh, give your bird at any time of the day. So what I would recommend is a, a simple fix, which would be to, instead of giving them access to food all day, to split your parrot's food into two meals, primarily breakfast in the morning and dinner toward the end. And when you're gonna train your parrot, train them first thing in the morning before you feed them or toward the afternoon when they're gonna get ready to eat again because this is when they're gonna be the hungriest and most receptive to training because when you train them, you can train them to get a, a, a treat that they really like as a um, reward for doing a certain behavior, right? So even then I was doing this with Alfie and he was not budging for whatever reason. And then I said, oh, I think I see the issue here. He He's still eating twice a day, but the portions that I'm giving him were a little too much. So he was still full and it would take him longer for him to be more motivated to want to train. And the last thing you want to do is to try to call your bird over and over again and then not listen because then it reinforces a bad behavior. That means, hey, uh, I don't have to do what you say. I do whatever you want on my own terms, not on your terms. And we want to avoid that, right? So what I did was I then took a 10, I took a 10% in 10% re, reduction in Elfie's food to find the right amount of food that's going to keep him at a healthy weight and motivate him to train when he wants to train or when I need him to train toward the afternoon. So basically what I did is, and what I recommend you do is uh, take a, a scale, uh, like a food scale, place your parrot on top. If they're too afraid, you can place a bowl or a perch on top. Make sure you even it out so it's not weighing, uh, weighing the perch or the little bowl on top of the scale. So zeroed it out. Put your bird on top and then first thing in the morning after they go poop, put them on the scale, weigh them and take a measurement for five to seven days and take an average. And take notes on the days when your parrot is most responsive because that's usually gonna be a good weight to keep your parrot at. So for example, uh, Elfie was weighing in at 112 grams. He was uh, very receptive at 112 grams. Okay, great, how much food did I give him? I, I give him pellets and I recommend you only give uh, your parrot pellets as a primary means of nutrition. Good pellets, by the way, good brands. So I give him about 12 pellets in the morning and I realized with 12 pellets, it was still a little too much and I basically reduced it by 10%, which is roughly 1.5 pellets. So then I went to 11 pellets and his behavior got a little bit better, a little bit more motivation twice a day. And there were still days where he was, you know, he was a little bit on the not responsive side. So then what I did is I took another 10% reduction and it was about 12.5 pellets. And I found that to be the sweet spot of Alfie being at a healthy weight because we're weighing them every day, right? We're weighing your parrot every day and enough nutritious food 
to keep him healthy and motivate him to train when I want him to train toward you know the end of the day so that's what I would recommend you do with your parrot if you're having issues with them responding to training with you first things first break your parrots meals up into twice a day morning and dinner start off with a base amount of pellets that you're gonna feed your parrot say and it's gonna depend on the size of the bird Alfie's a smaller guy if I had a red-fronted macaw he would be eating four times the amount of food because he's four times the size of Alfie so instead of getting 11 pellets he'd probably get more like 40 pellets right so big difference anyway you'll know uh, and if you don't know um, start with like you know a certain amount of pellets let's say you start with 15 pellets and then see how your bird responds does he finish his food bowl if he finishes his food bowl, then it's a good place to start. If he doesn't, then that means that that amount of food that he ate was a little bit in excess because he didn't finish his food. So let's say you know it's 15, and then you do uh, you do 15 in the morning, and then you're gonna train him in the afternoon another 15 pellets, and then you realize, hey, my bear's not as responsive as I wanted him to be. Then you take a 10% reduction in food so let's say 10 percent of 15 would be 1.5 pellets so you so then the next day you feed your parrot 13.5 and 13.5 pellets and then throughout this process we're making sure we're tracking weight right because you want to track weight to make sure that you're not underfeeding your parrot so much so that they go way below what they should be weighing and, and they become unhealthy right so if you see a 10 percent reduction in food you should see like one to two grams of weight drop over time which is going to be normal and just figure out what a good range of your parrot's weight should be just google it on the internet so for for Elfie you can see Senegal parrots anywhere from 110 grams to like 140 grams just depending on the variation so if I'm within that range I know Elfie is going to be good so those are some quick quick tips for you guys um, twice a day feeding train your parrot when they are going to be most motivated to want to eat weigh your parrot every day to figure out a baseline weight of where he or she should be count the pellets that you give them and then if they're not responsive start with a 10 percent gradual reduction in their meals breakfast and dinner and then see how the response goes with your parrots and their motivation to train once you find that sweet spot you know this is going to be the amount of food that i need to give my parrot for them to be responsive to training and i will say this Depending on the time of the year, sometimes parrots' metabolisms will adjust a little bit. For example, when Alfie was going through this mating season, he wanted to eat more food. And I can just tell because he normally eats a certain amount of food. And then all of a sudden, he was like, he wasn't happy with what he was getting. And I can tell he was moving around. He wanted more food. And he was like a little, like little anxious because he was still hungry. So I added one or two more pellets. He would gobble that up, still have motivation. And then I said, okay. I'm just gonna give him a little bit more food for this time frame and then the season changed he went out of mating season and now it's back to the normal routine of what he gets so just something to think about with that being said that's it for this quick training video I hope you uh, enjoyed it and feel free to comment in the comment section Alan bird bay this is what I want you to cover let's talk about some of these different topics when it comes to parrots behavior training trick training free flight what it's like to work with Alfie, uh, any question you have, drop it in the comment section and let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer. And with that being said, uh, make sure you check out Alfie's uh, Instagram page in the description below. And there's also gonna be a link to a free Facebook community of other aspiring parrot owners or other parrot owners now where we just go there and we help each other out and we are a resource and help for one another cool community that's it for this video this is alan aka bird bay and elfie the senegal signing out for today thank you guys and i will see you next time